Next, let's look at Tong range of motion. If you don't have a list to follow along, go ahead and click the link below, enter your email address, and a full myofunctional therapy assessment form will be emailed to you so that you can follow along as you do these tests on yourself or your child. Now, just to note, if you are doing this assessment on your young child or baby, you can skip the next three tests under tongue range of motion. They are nearly impossible to perform on a child of that age because they're unable to follow instructions. So if you're looking to assess your tongue, or your, sorry, your child's tongue range of motion and they're in that age range, we will address that in a separate video. But if you're doing this on yourself or older child who can follow instructions, then let's start with maximum mandibular opening. So maximum mandibular opening doesn't sound like it's going to be talking about tongue range of motion, but I promise with the next video, I will tie it back to tongue range of motion. So what we're gonna measure first is maximum mandibular opening, exactly what it sounds like. You're just gonna open your mouth all the way. And we're gonna measure the tip of the central incisors of the mandible to the tip of the central incisors of the maxilla. If you were at a myofunctional therapist's clinic, they would use a tool like this, and they would go here to here to check your millimeters. This tool is a little bit nicer because it curves so it doesn't hit your nose or your chin. You can just use a normal ruler and do the best that you can to measure those distance or that distance. And then what we're going to do is use that range of motion with our next test in order to develop a little bit more information regarding tongue mobility. If you have any questions with this one, please write them in the comments section below or find me at summerspt.com. I would be happy to help.